There were like eight of them. <laughs> yeah, dude. I feel terrible that we disturbed them, but there was just a mating ball of garter snakes and they all dispersed as soon as we walked up. Um, all right. They're, they're probably gone now, but yeah, we're about to go look for salamanders. And uh, as you can hear, there's a bunch of western chorus frogs calling in this vernal pool over here. But yeah, there were a whole bunch of garter snakes. That's technically Evan's first Illinois snakes of the year, but we didn't catch any, so let's see if we can find some more. Not that one. This one, though. Let's see. Dude, awesome. Evan just found this garter snake here. Uh, it's doing garter snake things, as it should. You want to do the honors? Um, sure. <laughs> oh, warm as, warm as heck. Oh, oh, it on oh ew. <laughs> well, there it is. Right the oh, right into the water. It's cool to see him swim. That He's underwater. Kind of cool. It is pretty cool. Why aren't you allowed to say COVID in the video? Uh, I don't really know why, but it's, it it's takes like away ad revenue. Oh. I think it's about getting demonetized or something. That's weird. Yeah. I got a garter. I didn't think I wanted to catch it because it was gonna musk all over me. And it did, but now me and Evan are both covered in musk, so it's okay. There's always just gonna be tons of garters right around the edge of vernal pools in the spring. A lot of times they'll be mating, but I just saw this one slithering alone, so decided to catch it. Here he is. <laughs> I'm the smaller one. Over here is where we originally found the mating ball. And uh, they typically don't return to the same spot if they want to continue mating. However, there's probably going to be other snakes here. So I'm just going to keep the camera rolling while I walk through. Super sunny area. It was only supposed to be like 57 today, but it is probably like 60, 65 or 4 or something. Real warm. I cut the camera, then I found a garter. Let's uh, see if I can catch it. Oh, got it. There it is. Another uh, Chicago garter. Pretty cool. Garter snake. Right along the train tracks here. Just doing his thing. Pretty good. Oh, there he is. That's number five or something. Number six, right? I think that's number six that we've caught. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Number seven. Yeah, that's a pretty kind of a pretty one. Pretty cool. Number seven. Another garter snake in C2. I was about to flip that log and he just was there. Gonna bite me. Boop. Here he goes. Let's flip this log. No. <laughs>
So we went around to this area where it wasn't necessarily quite as burned as the rest of the area and we found this um, central newt eft, Nodothalmus viridescens, and this is the land stage of newts. When they grow up they'll be fully aquatic and they'll uh, live in water completely. But before they turn fully aquatic, there'll be this land stage where you can find them underneath logs and stuff like that. So yeah, you probably couldn't tell since he was covered in dirt, but their bellies are bright orange with these black dots on them to scare predators into thinking that they're poisonous. Pretty cool little uh, newt here. And uh, let's see if we can find anything else. There it is, we just flipped two tiger salamanders under this cinder block thing. Let's pick them up. Here they are. One's big, one's kind of smaller here. Take this one real quick. Oh. Not just one. Super cool. Ambistoma tigrinum is their taxonomy. Pretty cool. I just flipped the third one underneath another one of these things here. Really cool. They all kind of have the spots on them. Kind of like a spotted salamander, but they are a lot less uniform than a spotted salamander. Here's them all crawling around and stuff. I'm gonna wash them off and see if I can show you their colors a little bit better. So here's all three of them together. As you can see, it's kind of three different color phases. This one is like real black and spotted. This one is super black and it has like almost no spots on it. The smaller one right there and then this big one's got spots all over. They kind of change with age sometimes. When they get older, they get bigger spots and stuff. But yeah, super cool. This one, this one, there he goes. You know, I have some uh, questions about what might have happened here, but uh, I think some questions are best left uh, unanswered. So. Second species for the day, blue spotted salamander, Ambistoma lateral, right underneath this log. Pretty cool. Nice looking one. Not the best looking, but not too bad. Evan just got the third salamander species of the day. <laughs> there it is, it's a spotted. It's really nice looking actually. That's a pretty good sized one. The hand in comparison. It's an adult for sure. Um, probably a female. Um, they're one of the first salamanders to breed. These tigers and blue spotters are all spring breeders. So. Yeah, really cool and there's a worm. It's a really pretty salamander. It's got the orange near the head, the yellow spots on the back and some kind of blue on the sides. Just quadruple flipped these spotted salamander or blue spotted salamanders under this log here. That is crazy. It was right on the way out and I just flipped this one log and boom, a bunch of them were under here. Super cool. Quad feed. And right here, I just got this giant buzzer beater tiger salamander. This thing is very pretty actually. A lot prettier than most of the ones I've seen. But this thing is huge. It's about, let's say about eight inches long, but super cool. So this right here is the tiger salamander, Ambistoma tigrinum, and this is actually a really pretty one. As you can see, he has a lot of spots on him. Typically they'll have like stripes on him like a tiger, and uh, their name Ambistoma means mole salamander, and tigrinum is referring to the fact that they're called a tiger salamander. But yeah, this one's a really light colored one, uh, definitely an adult. This might have been a female that just laid her eggs, but yeah, really pre pretty amphibians here. Um, I love finding these guys out here in the woods. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you if I find anything else, but until then, I'll see you later. Man, clever enough to have perpetrated such a dastardly crime. Huh. And I thought you were ready to give up. You.
just to keep on riding. The judge gonna put him down, put him down, put him down. Until you can't see the light again.